From Cobra Kai's Zola Marduena in the lead role to the film's amazing Latino representation, there are tons of reasons why the Blue Beetle trailer has fans hyped. Rich. You always land on your feet, bro. You're hymen. Starting off with the fact that the trailer got so many elements right, from the visuals to the upbeat music, Blue Beetle has definitely managed to leave his mark with his very first appearance in the DC Universe. The character is one that's been in the comics for a very long time, with his first appearance going as far back as 2006, so it's high time he makes his leap to the live action world. It's like Batman stuff. Batman's a fascist. I just wanna rap. And honestly, what an entry. Say what you want about the trailer, it definitely managed to check all the high boxes for me. Sure, it seems like the story is going to be fairly generic. You've got the random piece of technology that leads to superpowers cliche. And you've got the scientist villain that wants to take the power for herself. Let's party. Oh, yeah! Nice choice. I just wanna rap. But beyond those standard tropes, I think the trailer managed to display a ton of heart and humor, which makes me feel like this will be a worthwhile watch. Even if it feels a bit familiar to some other superhero movies that have come out over the past decade, there's also the fact that the cast for this film is definitely amazing, especially Jolo Meriduena as Jamie Reyes. He portrays the role of a college graduate that's trying to find his way in life. From the first shot of the trailer, you see Jamie standing in front of a massive estate. And just when you think that he's going to be some Tony Stark type character with loads of cash flowing, reality hits as you hilariously find out that Reyes is just a worker at the mansion. Excuse me, Mr. Reyes. You finished scraping the gum off that lounger or what? Uh, Oops, I think it's that kind of smart humor that will really make this a fun and lighthearted DC outing. Unlike the Snyderverse, which tended to be a bit too brooding and dark for me personally, that said, while his lifestyle may not exactly be similar to Iron Man, I've got to say, Blue Beetle's powers definitely reminded me of Tony. He's got the same kind of suit that turns on and even comes with his very own voice assistant. It's supposed to be some kind of ancient relic that's been passed down through history, with its actual origins being linked to some alien species called the Reach. The device is actually sentient and refers to itself as Kaji Da, taking on the appearance of a blue metal scarab. Sorry, Raven, the bug doesn't want to lose. And you do. After it chooses Reyes as its host, madness ensues as he seemingly flies off of the roof of his house and within seconds reaching all the way to the top of Earth's atmosphere. The shot of him staring at the globe from that high is honestly spectacular and it makes me think that maybe the rest of the CGI in this film will be good too. Ready when you are. That said, not everyone seems to be a fan of all these Iron Man similarities. And some MCU fans are even calling out DC for copying Marvel. Honestly, at this point, this is a fandom war that's never going to end. But the trailer definitely added a bit more fuel to the fire. Marvel fans were quick to point out that Blue Beetle's suit has a striking resemblance to Tony's. And even some of his abilities kind of resemble something you'd expect Stark to do. Fans felt like it took inspiration too far and was honestly starting to feel like mimicry at this point, which was kind of sad. Though I definitely think anyone saying that should keep in mind that Blue Beetle has existed in the comics for a long time. And it's not like DC has any lack of heroes that they'd want to copy over something from Marvel just for the sake of it. Any more tricks? Meet. Just a few. <laughs> That said, even with Marvel fans trying to ruin the fun for the rest of us, there are still plenty more reasons why Blue Beetle has everyone hyped. Like the fact that this is the first Latino live action superhero movie. And thankfully for once, Hollywood isn't shying away from that fact. The film's main hero and his family feel unapologetically Latin. And I think that it's going to reflect a lot during the film itself. Many fans took to social media to share their excitement over this, with some saying that it's an amazing time to be a Latin superhero fan. From Miles Morales to Namor and now Blue Beetle, the amount of representation that's been appearing for the Latino audience is amazing. Just like I taught you. When did you teach me that? I didn't. It's a little joke for team building. Hey 
you guys. Plus, it helps that the film looks like it's going to be great, so DC must definitely have hope in the film being able to do good with fans. Another interesting aspect about the movie is that it doesn't have the trope of the hero trying to keep their identity secret. Reyes's family very much knows that he's Blue Beetle. What the? Host acquired. Who said that? And in fact, the trailer very much showed them getting involved in the action and fun too. Some of the most funniest moments in the trailer involved his family members reacting to the crazy stuff that was going on. Another character that's going to have a lot of prominence is Jamie's love interest, Penny, played by Bruna Margazzini. It seems like the movie will be diving a bit deeper into their relationship as the hero tries to juggle being a good guy too. There's another big reason why the film will feel like it gets Latin representation right, and that's the the fact that the director is Latino too. The film is being directed by Angel Manuel, who you may remember as the director of Charm City Kings. He mentioned during a Q&A that the film is written in a way that will definitely allow the Latin roots of the character to shine through. The director also mentioned that he wanted to tap into three generations of the Reyes' family, showing how they were immigrants and that this is a central part of the film, making them even more relatable to all of the audience members. It's clear that the director has a proper vision for the film, and that's a great reason to be hyped about it in my opinion. Of course you don't actually have to be Latin yourself to enjoy it. Re-entry systems ready. This ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. Soto added that whether you're a Latino or not, the movie's message is one that transcends ethnicity. And it's something that everyone can relate to. It's not written to fit into some sort of genre or a buzzword. It's just a fun superhero movie that has a strong focus on Latin culture, and that's something everyone can get enjoyment out of. No wonder so many people are hyped to see the film. Though even with all this excitement, it's important to temper your expectations. It's tough to say what the future of Blue Beetle will be like, even assuming the film will turn out good, there's the fact that this is one of the remaining projects from the old DCEU, which James Gunn and Peter Safran are very much planning to wipe clean. The new plan that they have for the DC Universe involves them starting things from the ground up, and James has already revealed the first chapter of his new DCU called Gods and Monsters. Surprise, surprise, Blue Beetle was nowhere to be found in that list, which is making fans fear that even if this film is amazing, this may end up being the first and last time they'd get to see this superhero on the big screen. Let's hope James changes his mind and finds a spot for Reyes in his new DC universe. But those are all the reasons why fans are hyped for this film.